One of our 100-day challenges is asking the American people to mask up for the first 100 days, the next 99 days. Yesterday, I signed an executive action that requires mask and social distancing on federal property. Today, we'll be signing an additional ex executive action to extend masking requirements on interstate travel, like on trains, planes, and buses. And in light of the new COVID variants that we're, you're learning about, we are, we're, we are, in, we're instituting now a new measure for individuals flying into the United States from other countries. In addition to wearing masks, everyone flying to the United States from another country will need to test before they get on that plane, before they depart, and quarantine when they arrive in America. When I say you just heard Biden talk about his first executive order that he signed on January 20th about the 100 days of mass. Now, this is his 100-day mass challenge, and it starts on January 20th, 2021, and just happens to end on April 30th, 2021. Now, April 30th is actually Walpurgis Night, and it's a Celtic um, festival, pagan festival. And remember, Biden's Secret Service code name is Celtic, which means the tall ones. Now, his 100-day mandate ends on Walpurgis on April 30th, the day before Beltane, another pagan festival. And May 1st just happens to be a socialist communist holiday. Obviously, they planned it like this for the 100-day mandate to end on Walpurgis night, the day before Beltane. Now, a new Carl's Jr. commercial came out, and it looks like an infomercial for a cult. Watch it. Carl's Jr. welcomes you to fiery famous star Charbroil Bliss. Creamy, peppery, fiery, saucy, creamy, peppery, fiery, saucy, creamy, peppery, fiery, saucy. Join us. New fiery this new commercial reminded me of the movie a few years ago that was called Midsummer. It was a really strange movie. You know, they do the same May pole with the dancing around the pole, and they have the fires, the bonfires, and it's just a really trippy movie. The question is why would Carl's Jr. do a commercial that represented cult activity? And another thing to point out is Midsummer actually happens on June 21st for the summer solstice. But it also reminded me of the Wicker Man, the old Wicker Man movie, and the new remake from a few years back of the Wicker Man. So I think this is strange that Biden has this new 100 mandate and it ends on Walpurgis the day before Beltane. Also, check out the end. It says, feed your happy. Happy was the apis bull. The golden calf. Now here's the interesting thing with the golden calf connection. We all know the story about the golden calf, but it was also called the apis bull or happy in Egypt. Now the thing about the apis bull or the golden calf is that it's the word masaka. Now this word masaka is also used for mask or veil, but obviously you can see in Exodus that it was used for a idol. So I find that interesting that the mask or masaka is actually modern day idol worship. And we can see that with how everybody acts about the whole thing. And now you have Biden's 100 day mandate for his cult of mass and pandemics. So let's recap here for a second. You have this 100-day mask mandate that Biden put into effect that ends on Walpurgis the night before Beltane, which are the same pagan holidays, and they're actually celebrated by the Celts, the Celtics, which is his name for the Secret Service. And then you have this Carl's Jr. commercial that comes out that basically is an infomercial for cults that looks like the movie Midsummer, which also, like I said, happens on June 21st, the solstice, but May Day 
where the communist celebration happens on May 1st, which just also happens to be Beltane, which Beltane, they dance around the Maypole just like they do for Midsummer. So it's basically the same thing, just a later holiday. Now, Walt Purgis actually was to celebrate the awakening of the evil or troubled spirits in the spring and to bring them back and was also the last chance that the evil or dark spirits for winter were to do their last bidding. So it was the invocation and a conjuring of demonic spirits. Now back to the golden calf for a second. The Jews also celebrate Purim, which they have tried to identify with Esther, but it's not really connected to Esther. This is a time of a carnival where they dress up and put masks on their face and they do these weird things. Most people don't realize that Purim was started by Italian Jews. Yep. Then it actually spread out to the rest of the Jews around the world. But I want you to pay attention that it started with Italian Jews in Italy. So this brings us to a whole other thing now. Now we know Biden isn't really Biden or something's going on there, but his handler is his wife, Jill Jacobs. Now her real maiden name isn't Jacobs, but it's Geocopa or Geocapa, which is a Sicilian name that dates back for 2,000 years. And it's a, a Jewish name. Now they actually changed their name for whatever reason and change it to Jacob's, which is Yaakov in Hebrew, which is obviously a Hebrew Jewish name. This whole connection made me think of the magazine Jacobin, which is actually a socialist communist magazine, and they featured Biden on there as the savior of the world, which it's a really strange cover, but you can break it down yourself and see what's going on. They also had a guillotine a few years ago and a guillotine with the crown. So as you can see, there are a lot of strange connections here with the 100-day mask mandate by Biden. The day it ends is on Walpurgis, the day before Beltane, which is May Day, which is a social communist holiday. We also have Biden's Secret Service code name is Celtic, which means the tall ones. And something that's recently come up is Jill Biden or Jill Jacobs or Jill Giacoppa, actually an Italian Jew.